Today we're going to create some op art. Okay. And the way we're going to start is we're going to take our pencil and just make a dot somewhere in about the middle of your paper. It doesn't really matter if it's exactly in the center or not. That's just a point where all of our lines are going to intersect. Okay. And I've got a ruler handy. And that will allow us to do some straight lines. So I'm going to do an even number of lines. I'd like to do six. That's a good amount for this particular project. You could do eight or ten. Um, let's see, so I'm going to go from one side through that dot all the way across to the other side. So there's one. It's a good idea to count as you go because you can lose track easily. Two, three, turn my ruler. All right, so some, now sometimes you're not going to reach totally to the edge with your ruler, so you have to kind of make up for that. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four. And here comes five. And I think I'll do this one a little bit. Probably right there will be six. So now I've got six intersecting lines now. Okay. Now, we're going to alternate a pattern between each of these sections that we've created with our lines. And I'm going to use four, so again, it's an even number. And we're going to do something that's like smiley faces. So here's, it comes from this side over to this side. So here's one, skip down a little bit, two, a little further, three, and four. So I've got four smiley faces. Next to it, it's going to be like rainbows. They're going to go up this, the arc is going up this way. So it's going to go one, two, three, and sometimes it's going to go part way off the page and back on four. So there we go. We're starting to create this wavy effect. Now I'm going to go back to the first thing that I did, the smiley faces. Two, three, and I could work this one back in here. Four, and one, two, three, four, this one's going to go way over here. Two, three, and Okay, so once I have those done, I usually have, I go back and I'm going to go over all of the pencil lines in Sharpie, a permanent marker, and then we'll add our colors and create our patterns. Once you have everything filled in with Sharpie, you'll need to choose a couple of colors. So you get your, your markers, I'm using Crayola today, and we're going to do an alternating pattern with that. Okay, some areas I'm going to leave white, and those will color in with some colored pencil in a moment. So, I'm going to start with color here, so I skipped the color there, so that means I'll color in this section, and then I'm going to skip down and color the section after, so let's see if we can get this, let's see if I can use the side so I can color it a little faster. Alright, so I'm going to skip here and skip here. So, there's my alternating pattern. Now, when I switch colors, I'm going to do just the opposite of what I did in this section. So, if I colored here second, then I'm going to color here first. So, this outer piece is going to get colored first, and it's kind of big. So, I'm going to go over here and do this one. Just so, you don't have to wait for me to color that giant section. Okay, so I'm just coloring that in. This one. And so then that little section will be complete. And then I continue on around in the same pattern. So now the red would go here, red would go here again, and we just continue around. Alright, so continue coloring yours. Once everything's colored in with marker, it already looks pretty cool. But we're not done yet. We're going to take some colored pencils. So I have, and I'm going to get the same color. So I've got green and red so that we can use that in the white areas. Okay. And we're actually just going to shade a little bit along these edges. 
is not the darkest green, so if you have a darker green, it might work better. But I'm only coming in part way with my colored pencil. And shading in some of the white areas. It'll just add to our illusion as we work it into there. Okay, so then I'll go around and I'll do all of the green areas that way. And then I'll catch all the red the same way, coloring on those edges. And you have to keep your pencils nice and sharp. This one looks like it needs to be sharpened real soon. And you're just going to continue that pattern all the way around and you can see it's already turning out really cool. So we'll continue that and then we'll talk about the last steps. As you can see, once you get all of the colored pencil worked in to the white areas, our picture looks pretty doggone cool. There are some other things you can do to make it even more interesting. Some of my students have taken pictures looking like they're falling in or jumping on something and then we cut them out and we glue them into the picture. That's kind of cool. I might even try doing some more shading in the colored areas with colored pencil and then we'll look at some of those results later. So after all the shading is done and I even went back and I, I did some black in the colored areas and shaded that and we have this wonderful op art effect that looks like you could just fall right into the center of this. So it's a fun pattern activity so it involves those math skills, this little bit of perspective going on here and it turns out really cool. So I hope you have fun!